Blue Jim Beacon and Dad, and if you're still here, that tells me you want to see how to build high boxes out of OSB, or also known as chipboard. So, the first cut we're going to be doing is the long cut. That is the 19 and 7 eighths. Yes, this is for a Langstroth high, 10 frame. next step of building your boxes you're going to do dry fitting dry fitting just means you're going to pre-assemble it make all of your adjustments that you need to make I'm going to show you how to go through and do that I've already made the adjustments to this The easiest way for me to do it is I mark on each board what position it needs to go to. I use one through four. Number one, number one. your two pieces just like a good old Lego set or Lincoln log set put them together now if you need to make adjustments the best way to do that Lay one board right on top of the other one. Make sure, make sure that everything is flush. Otherwise, when you make your adjustments, You're not making good adjustments. Your box will sit cockeyed. So, that's corner one. Now we can turn this way over like this. Once you got your dry fit done 
and it's sitting completely flush all the way around. You're ready to glue your box together and nail it together. Take your box apart. What I like to do is I like to take my glue and put it on each individual finger. I'm using a non-expanding glue. This is an interior and exterior glue. Then start reassembling your box. I don't have all the great power tools that's recommended for this. All I have is hammer and nails. Yes, this, is to, this does take a little bit more time putting it together with hammer and nail. I'm doing this video to show you that you don't need pneumatic tools to put together Beehive boxes. Now, do not get me wrong, it is easier with pneumatic tools. but it can still be done without them.